welcome back. So today's video is kind of a continuation from what I posted on Monday. On Monday, I was talking about the Visart Sultry Muse palette, and today I'm going to be talking about the Visart Paris Nudes palette. I've had a lot of people ask me questions about the palettes. Um, I did post what was it, like a month or uh, maybe a little more than a month ago, a video on the dark matte, the Visart Dark Matte palette. I will link that below if you are interested. That's the palette that kind of kicked off this whole Visart eyeshadow quest for me, shall we say. I fell in love with the formula and I, you know, that was an all matte palette, so I was like, ooh, I need to get my hands on some shimmers. Well, I got my hands on two of them. I hauled them probably three and a half weeks ago when I was in Orlando. I picked them up at the makeup show. So this is the Paris Nudes palette. It is gorgeous. It has a bunch of neutrals. There are some, some pops of color, but for the most part, they're all neutrals. In comparison to the Sultry Muse palette, the Paris Nudes doesn't have as many pops of color, has less um, shades of eyeshadows that have that finely milled glitter in it, but both of them are stunning. So I will do some side-by-side -side swatch comparisons because they do have one or two shades that are very similar, but let's start swatching this absolutely gorgeous palette, shall we? All right, so once again, I will mention it, even though I probably mention it every single time. This line was created with professional makeup artists in mind, so the packaging is a little wah-wah, um, but you do get nice size pans and you do get 12 eyeshadows for $80. So let's start swatching, shall we? All right, so we're gonna start with this top row and that gorgeous baby pink. Now this is like the quintessential pink, has a bit of a peach undertone to it, but for the most part, it is just a beautiful baby pink. It's light, it's fresh. Every little, everyone, you know, everyone needs a little baby pink in their life. And this is the kind of pink that will look good from someone with super fair skin to someone who has, you know, dark skin because it is the kind of color that um, when used with a primer, it will it will show up on on a variety of skin tones and types and eye shapes. Next, next is an eyeshadow that has it's white, but it's 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 like a duochrome. It reminds me a little bit of the Makeup Geek duochrome eyeshadows. Um, this is duochrome white to gold, depending on how you look at it, how it catches the light. But this has finely milled gold gl glitter in it. It's one of the two in this palette. And I feel like it kind of changes, the, the formula is a little different in these. Just like the Sultry Muse palette, which had four of them, I feel like the formula for these eyeshadows are slightly different also. But it does have a bit of an irid iridescence to it. It's really stunning. Followed by one of my favorite colors. Now this is just a orangey peach. It's so pretty. I cannot wait for summer because I feel like this on some tan skin is going to be an amazing combination. Super fun. And then the last um, shade in the top row is the other eyeshadow that has finely milled glitter in it. And this is like a vanilla with gold glitter. I feel like the glitter in this eyeshadow is a little bit more chunky than um, the previous, but still really pretty. Um, I, I would use this eyeshadow more as a topper. I don't know that it would stand up all by itself because it's, it's not as pigmented as some of the other shadows. Still pretty, but not as pigmented, in my opinion. All right, starting with the first shade in the second row, it looks purple, or like this light shade of purple in the pan, but when you swatch it out, it it's almost like a brown with a plum undertone, which is kind of crazy, in my opinion. Um, really interesting shade, it's very unique. The next shade is a, is a bit of a, like an antique gold. It is almost muted, in a sense. It's not very bright and in your face but it's it's equally as pretty. I think it'll look amazing on people who have green eyes or brown eyes. I think it will flatter them. It's just an interesting warm tone gold. It's very pretty. Now the next shade is so up my alley. It is a deep dark copper. I love it. Coppery with a bit of a, like a rose undertone to it. I think it's so stunning. Um, you guys know that I live for these coppery colors. They're my jam. The last shade in this row is actually what I have on my eyes, and this is just a gorgeous taupey color. Um, I feel like it's a bit on the cool tone side, and I put it on my eyes to act because I wanted to just, you know, my last look was a little more colorful, and I wanted to do something a little more demure and a little more understated, should I say. I wanted to showcase, you know, the range that you can have with these kinds of eyeshadows. So 
I did just a little bit more of a demure look today. You know, this would be the kind of look that you could do on a bride or, you know, a mother of the bride, things like that. So I, I went a different route than I did on Monday which, with my red and coppers, you know, love those coppers. The last row starts out with a very cool toned violet. It's, it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. Um, for the green eyed girls out there, this will be an amazing color to put on them. Just one of my favorites. Followed by a cool toned gray silver. Like this is an interesting color and I don't actually own anything like this. I think it's such an interesting take on a gray because they added like this hint of silver to it, which is really, really uh, pretty in my opinion. The next shade is also unique in itself because it, you know, it's a purple, but it's like one of those deep purples and it has a different kind of look to it, you know? It, you know, even though it does have a sheen, I feel like you could shear it out enough that, you know, it could it could pass as a matte so that you can use it um, in, in other capacities. The very last color is a very deep dark blue purple. It's so gorgeous. Once again, you could darken this up. You could use this to darken up any kind of eye look. It's so stunning. This, def this row is definitely the darkest um, row for the eyeshadows in this palette. Um, and I love that they took tones of purple and they gave you a lot of different options. A cool tone, a warm tone, you know, a dark, a light, things like that. So I really like the diversity in this palette because I feel like it can be used across so many avenues. So, you know, one of the things that I really wanted to do was take the two palettes and compare colors that I thought were very similar and show you guys on screen. The first one that I'm going to take is from the Sultry Muse palette and it is their copper color. I love it. It's like a copper penny. And then I'm also going to take that copper pen, that copper color from the Paris Nudes palette. Now clearly the Sultry Muse is a lot brighter. I mean it is like a copper penny where the Paris Nudes is, is equally as gorgeous. It's just pretty in a different way. It, it, you know, it isn't as bright. It's a bit of a deeper tone, but still really, really pretty. I mean, if this, you know, if you were torn between the two and you had to choose one and one, you know, one of the coppers speaks to you, go with it. The other color that was very similar are the two pinks that are in the palette. So the first one is from the Sultry Muse and the other one is from the Paris Nudes. Sultry Muse is on the bottom, Paris Nudes is on top, and the Paris Nudes is just a lighter, more baby pink version, where the Sultry Muse is a little darker, deeper toned. You know, they're both really, really pretty, but it, you know, are they identical? Absolutely not. So, you can get away with using both of these palettes because they do have similar shades, but no two colors are exactly the same, which is really nice. They they, you know, were mindful not to put the same colors in both palettes. And last but not least, I would say that there are the two taupe colors in the palette. One's more champagne in my opinion, but this is from the Sultry Muse palette is on bottom and the um, Paris Nudes is on top. You can see a little more champagne, a little more taupe, but in the palette they look very similar. Um, in the pan they look very similar, but when they swatch, they swatch completely different. So, you know, you do get a, a lot of variety and no two shades are the same. So, if you're on the fence between choosing between the two, you know, one of them just has a couple more brighter pops of color than the other. One's more nudes and natural colors. Um, both are equally as pretty. The pigmentation is amazing. The formula is awesome. I would say that the Sultry Muse has more eyeshadows with finely milled glitter in them. If that's something that you gravitate towards, then that would be the palette. Whereas the Paris Nudes only has one real, I mean they have two, but one's more of a duochrome and the other one is like the straight up glitter. So, you know, both of them are, are stunning. They are $80. I have to like continue to stress that because this isn't just like a mill, run of the mill kind of a palette. This is an investment. Um, if you are new to the industry and you're thinking about adding these to your kit, I would say absolutely these are a good quality eyeshadow. These are long wearing eyeshadows. Now I would always recommend putting down an eye primer. It will help 
and I would also recommend doing your eye makeup first because these are so buttery and smooth. Um, sometimes they have a tendency to have a lot of fallout because of that. So, you know, you great formula kind of has to have a drawback. So the, the drawback is there is some fallout with these eyeshadows, but they're pigmented, they're buttery, they're long wearing, they're awesome. <laughs> so two thumbs up for this palette as well. Um, what can I say? I'm in love with the Visar palettes. If you guys have tried either one of these palettes, I would love to hear your feedback. You know, what do you find the positives and the negatives are of these palettes other than the price tag? You know, the price tag is what it is. But I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and feedback. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to have you guys as subscribers. And until next time.